Okay guys, hey, welcome back, and we're in part two of the series, or I guess I'm calling it a little bit of series, a sort of series now, on how to create word search puzzle books. So in the first video, I showed you guys how to go about creating your interior. We looked at the software that you can use to create word search puzzles for free. And um, also we looked at uh, ChatGPT to come up with a list of words you can actually add to your word search puzzle books. Now we're gonna look at creating a simple cover for your word search books. And I'm gonna be using none other than Canva Pro to do this. Now, I know a lot of people have issues with coming up with the dimensions for your word search, not even word search books, but for books just in general. I would highly recommend if you do have a budget for this, um, in investing in tangent templates because this is what I use and it just takes all of the guesswork out of this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is come over to the KDP helper and I'm gonna go ahead and start calculating the dimensions for the cover of this book. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that the book is gonna have, let's just say 40 pages, or actually we'll do 60 pages. I'm gonna uh, select the paper type is white because I'm gonna keep it in black and white for printing costs and to keep those down. And then I'm all, always gonna select bleed for my interior, okay? Because I do like for my uh, stuff to bleed off of the page. So once I've done that, I'm just gonna click continue and then uh, the KDP helper is gonna give me the, the, the dimensions for both the cover and the interior. Okay, so now that we have our dimensions, we're gonna come over into Canva and we're gonna click create a design. We're gonna go to custom size. We're gonna make sure that this is set for inches and not pixels. And then we're gonna go over and take the dimensions from the KDP helper. So the first one is for the width, which is 17.39. So we're gonna put that here. And the second one is for the height, which is 11.25. So I'm going to put that here. Okay, and then we're gonna click create a new design. Now this is the actual cover for this book. Um, this encompasses the front side of the cover, which is here over here and then the back side. So we'll do, and I like to do cover Valentine's Day word search, just so we can kind of know what kind of book we're creating, okay? So now we're gonna start adding colors and different things to this book. Now we know that Valentine's Day is, you know, more of the pinks, the reds, and things like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go over to design, and then I'm gonna look for uh, some templates to see if I can find something. So we'll do Valentine's, and let's see if we can find something here. So here is something that is pretty much already kind of created with the colors and things like that. Um, you can keep scrolling down, guys, and you can get other ideas. You can see that they've already kind of created like cards and things like that. And so what you can do to save yourself some time from trying to have to figure out, okay, well, what colors am I going to use? Is just use what you, you know, use what you see in front of you. So I'm going to go back up to this specific one here, and I'm going to use this. All right. So I'm going to apply this. And as you can see, this is <laughs> already kind of cute, right? All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stress this out over here, and then we're gonna take off this, and I'm gonna start removing some of this stuff. I'm gonna remove the Happy Valentine's Day sign here, and I'm gonna remove this, and I'm gonna remove this and all of this, but I am gonna keep this. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to find some different elements that are related to Valentine's Day. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and look for an actual word search puzzle to put on the front of this cover so people can know that it's a word search, okay? So I'm gonna go to elements and then I'm going to type in word search. Okay, so you can see here that when you type in word search under photos, um, it's gonna start popping up some different word search uh, puzzles and things that you can put. But I'm actually gonna look under graphics. I don't think there's gonna be anything under graphics. I think you will have to go under photos. So let's go to see all and yes this is what we want so we're just going to look for something that we can kind of put on the front to just kind of denote that this is an actual word search puzzle okay so what one which one do i want to use okay so yeah i'll use this one okay and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click on this because i want to crop this down and i'm going to just take this right here and this right here okay so I'm gonna drag this over and then I'm gonna reduce the size of this right here. All right, and so that looks okay. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a border around this word search puzzle to kind of wake this up a little bit because it looks a little plain to me. So I'm gonna go back to elements and then I'm going to go to 
lines and shapes. I'm going to click on this. All right. And so to turn this into a border, we first need to go here and we need to take the uh, click on this right here to add a border weight to this. And then we're going to change this color from this kind of, I don't know, off black color to black. And then we want to take out the color in the middle of this graphic. So to do that, we're going to click here, actually click here, and then we're going to click on this. And it took me a little bit to figure this out. <laughs> so I was like, what did they do to this, uh, to the squares? So I'm actually going to increase the border around this just a little bit. So I guess we'll go to about an eight and then we can kind of put this around here. Okay. Let's spread this out. All right. So there is our border and then there is our puzzle. So we're done with that. Now we want to just start adding some simple words to this. So we'll just do Valentine's Day uh, word search and, um, you know, then we'll put large print for seniors or something like that at the bottom. OK, or a large print puzzle for adults, not for seniors, but for adults. So I'm going to go over the text and I'm going to use. Uh, let's see, what do I want to use here? Because they have all kinds of stuff that you can use. It's already done. And. Um, Let's do this. So I'll do ungroup. We'll do Valentine's. And then we'll do day word search. Okay. So I'm going to take this and put this up here at the top right here. And I know we're going to have to change this up a little bit, which is fine. I'm going to put this here. Okay. And then I'm going to, let me do this. I'm going to lock this in here because I want to group this. So I'm going to highlight all of this. Actually, I just want to group this part. Just group this. Oh crap. Let me lock this too, because I don't want this to be grouped with that. I'm going to highlight this. And I want to group this so I can move this around. So you see what I'm doing there? I want to move this around and then I'm going to probably decrease this just a tad. And then I want to put Valentine's Day. And then maybe we can do, let's see here. So let me just do this Valentine's Day. We'll do my sweet Valentine's Day, something like that. My oops. Okay, we're gonna bold this and then we're going to go here, reduce some of the letter spacing, and I'm going off the cuff with this guys. You guys know me. Let's just do Valentine's Day. All right. Going off the cuff here with the design, and I'm gonna just leave this here for now. Okay, we'll do Valentine's Day, and we'll bring this up, and then at the bottom. We could just do large print. All right. Now, obviously, this is too big. So we're going to have to highlight this and then we're going to have to bring this text down to make this about an 18 or even a 24. I think that's perfect. So bring this down to about a 24. OK. All right. Great. So this is just the base of our puzzle. Now we want to start getting a little fancy with this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change this and go to effects. And then I'm going to use this effect here. And then I want to change this to white. And then um, what I'm going to do is let me go back to effects. And then what I'm going to do is for the offset, I want to bring this in a little bit more. So you see what it's doing right there? So I brought this in a little bit more at the top and then the transparency. I want to make this a little bit more pronounced. OK. All right. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this once more. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to do none and then I'm going to change this to white. Oops, not to white. I want to do the hollow effect and then I'm going to change this to white. And then I'm interested in seeing what this is going to look like. So something like that. So you see what I did there? That's just something you can do. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to level out the thickness. OK, because I kind of wanted to have that kind of double word look, if you will. All right. So I think that looks OK. All right. OK, 
So now we have this down here at the bottom. I'm actually gonna increase this a little bit more. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a box around this to make this a little bit more pronounced, okay? So we're gonna go to Shapes. I'm gonna go to See All. I'm gonna go to this box here. And I'm gonna kind of bring this in to make this look a little bit better, all right, to jump out. All right, all right, so there's that. And then what you can do, of course, is you can put this in maybe a lighter shade of pink or something to make this kind of stand out a little bit more, okay? So we're gonna decrease this just a tad. We'll bring this up here. Oops. Okay, and then I'm gonna change the font to white to make that a little bit more pronounced and then change this back color to, like I said, maybe a lighter shade of pink. That's the wrong kind of pink that blends in too much. This one is not cool. Maybe I'll just put in black. Okay, so I think that looks okay. Last thing, but last but not, um, last but not least, what I'm gonna do to really keep this simple, and again, I would just recommend you guys playing around with this and just testing things out to see what works. Um, but I'm just going to add some cute little Valentine's Day related graphics around the cover of this puzzle, and that's going to be it. So I'm going to go over to Elements, and I'm going to do Watercolor Valentine's Day. I love watercolor designs, so I'm going to add that to this uh, cover. So I'm going to go to See All, and I'm going to go to Graphics. And then what you can do is you can just come down in here and find little cute graphics to add to your cover. So here's one right here that you can add if you want. Add this little teddy bear here, okay. Or, actually I'm gonna keep him. I don't know, I'm gonna add this other one. I'm gonna add this guy. You can see him a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna add him to the front of the cover. And then what I'm gonna do, of course, is I need to send him back because he's in the front. So we're gonna go position backward. And uh, there, that, there's that for the bear. Okay, hey, maybe just kind of make this a little bit, you know, bring him up just a little bit more so you can actually see. And then you can just continue to kind of decorate this as you see fit, right, with adding other elements and graphics and things. So here's something else. Believe me, this is not my best work, <laughs> but you guys kind of get the idea, okay, of what I'm doing here. All right, so maybe add that. And then um, you can add some more things like little balloons and just any other things that you want to add to really just wake up the design. I don't really like that one, but um, you can add a little gnome. Maybe you can do like a little gnome one. You know, let's add him. I think he's cute. I'll remove the teddy bear and add him. You know, put him as a little love thing here. He's super cute. And then I'll maybe take this off and find like another little gnome. So maybe it can be like a gnome thing or something, you know. Um, but any way you want to do it. So just have fun with it. So there's another little gnome guy. You can add him down here maybe. And position backward. Okay. And then maybe you can add like some balloons. But you kind of get the drift, right? Kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. Okay. So however you want to do this as far as a design perspective, um, you can do this, right? There's so many things you can do. All right, and that's pretty much that. And I actually probably would make this pink a little bit lighter. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I actually like the pink a little lighter right here. And then on the back cover, we'll make that that color. I actually do like that a little bit more. Okay, so we got kind of like a gnomish kind of Valentine's Day word search puzzle um, going, a theme going here. But again, just come over to Canva, find whatever it is that you're looking for, add the designs and things like that. And, um, you know, I wouldn't over decorate, but just, you know, make it look pretty nice. And then that is pretty much it for the cover. Now on the back of it, you know, you can put like um, some screenshots of your puzzles. So maybe you can, um, or you can put like a little graphic here. This is what I like to do, put a graphic here, like in the middle and then put like a little message or something on the back. You know, I don't know. Love is in the air, I don't know. Something like that, right? So you can do that. Put that in the middle, okay? And I'm gonna make sure this is big enough. And then that is pretty much it. 
Okay, now the last thing that we want to do, and I forgot to do this, is to over in tangent templates, I'm going to download the paperback cover template because I want to make sure that everything is lined up. So it's going to make sure that it downloads this as a PNG. And so what you'll do is you'll come over into Canva, you'll go to uploads, you'll upload your files, and then you will go to downloads. And then we're going to pull this cover template over here to make sure that everything is lined up and that it looks okay, okay, for printing. So this is up. So now I'm going to pop this over here to the cover and then I'm going to drag this out right here. Okay. And yep, it looks like everything is centered. Everything is lined up and I think this is going to look pretty good. Okay. All right. So now we are pretty much done with the cover and then we're done with the, uh, the cover and we're done with the interior. So once you're done with the cover interior and interior, it's time to go over and upload this into KDP. And so I have videos previously um, that I've published that show you how to go through the upload process, but this is pretty much it. After you finish making your cover and you do everything, put your designs and things on there, all you want to do is make sure you go to share. You want to go to download. You want to download this as a PDF print. Make sure this is set to CMYK. And then you want to click download to check to see how everything is going to look. Now, again, I recommend playing around with fonts, using different fonts, curly fonts, all kinds of things, and finding something that really just speaks to you because I could have done this a little bit better, but for the sake of time, I'm just giving you guys some examples of what I would potentially do for my cover design. And this is what the final cover looks like. And I think that looks actually pretty good. You know, it's really simple, succinct and to the point. Could use a little bit more design and things like that. But again, I just want to show you guys how you could go about doing this. So um, if you appreciated this video, you liked the video, I'd love for you guys to share this out with your friends, peeps, anyone that you think will benefit from it. Thanks so much for watching and um, I'll see you guys in a next video. Okay. Cheers and bye.